Oh, sh <laughs> shot it Damn, over. Damn, did you see that? <laughs> did we catch that? Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome to a special episode of Fung Bros Food. We are here out in the 626 and we are about to be covering a type of Chinese food that we have not yet talked about. This is the biggest city in China, Shanghai. And you know that we cannot cover authentic Shanghainese food without a Shanghainese superstar, Jimmy O. Yang. Woo! Hey, it's a hit, it's a hit. I'll let you know. What's up, what's up, what's up? What up? I brought the Jesus piece that we bought last time we were in New York. Because last episode, we introduced you as Hong Kong superstar. That's right. But then you're actually Chinese. Very multicultural. Chime. We are at the most Shanghainese spot right now because the name of the restaurant is just Q38 Noodle. And we are here with Shanghai native Belle. Hi, this is a very Shanghai round one. This egg roll, first of all, you dip it in vinegar, right? It's sauteed cabbage and pork strips in there. Check out this crunch. Cantonese one, the one that you get at dim sum. Yeah, that has like shrimp, little carrots yeah. and stuff. America's all about pork belly right now. Yeah. Asians been eating pork belly for a long yeah, check time. That. The sauce is so thick, it almost looks like mozzarella cheese. <laughs> Yes! That's all fat on top, but it's good for you, according to my dad. It's good for your skin, so girls eat it so that yeah. they don't really get wrinkled. It's collagen, right? Hong 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 you cut through the fat, but it's not really like greasy. You gotta bite it this way, so you get meat, fat, collagen right there. That's good. No, it doesn't feel too fatty, too greasy, because I know sometimes you're looking at this big block of pork fat. It almost feels more like a tendon. This is probably the most famous Shanghainese dish of all time. The Shaolongbao. Ironically, it's made famously by Ding Taifeng, a Taiwanese joint that's inspired by Shanghainese cuisine. Well, the main thing you can't get here in the Shaolongbao is the real crab meat from uh, Dudaha. You don't really eat the meat, you eat the roll, the orange and the red part of it that you put in the Shaolongbao. Right, right. Shaolongbao. This is like very delicate, the soup is inside, like the meat is very special. That's what people call me in high school. Small, delicate, we're, we're, the meat's very special. <laughs> so this one is hongso shobako, which there's not much fat in this compared to yeah. the other meat. So it's like tiny riblets that you're eating Shanghainese stuff. Well, these are the Shanghai wonton. Right. Du they, they say it's the Shanghai big wonton. There's a certain type of vegetable called chi te. So it's yeah. like cilantro-y, but like not as pungent. But you put seaweed in there, that's where you get all your MSG and flavor, basically. And this is uh, ta ta zu, wu ta zu, dude. Yeah. It's, it's a fried chopped up oh, yeah. eel. It's like a little bit chewy, which means that it's fresh. If it's like rubbery, that means it's frozen. Uh -huh. It's so good. This Yo, is good. Mm -hmm. As a person who does not even like unagi that much, that was actually really easy to eat. So round two, I got the crystal shrimp. Ching cao hu ni. A very bouncy mm. meat. They brined it with like baking soda. Shanghainese people love incorporating baking soda into their food. That's what makes it shiny because you said all Shanghainese dishes are shiny. Yeah. San Jian Bao or in Shanghainese, the San Ji Bao. Which San literally Bao. means raw fried buns. I gotta warn you, there is juice inside. Dangerous. And it could be hotter than the Shaolong Bao juice because it's insulated better than a Shaolong Bao is. Oh, sh**. <laughs> Damn, over. did you see that? <laughs> did we catch that? Here, watch me pour out the soup, guys. Came through dripping, drip, drip. Came through dripping. Oh, <laughs> drip, drip. Oh, sh**. And look at how perfectly this thing is. And it's just pure pork. It's just like putting the brain back in Thanks. there. Thanks. Oh, yeah, they this spiral is, the bottom. Yeah, spirals on the bottom for this one. Weird. Or the this is shape. very, very good. This is... It's, it's bean curd, right? Mm -hmm. The You got the pork strips. It's cut in the same shape as the bean curd strip, which is more or less the same shape with the big green onion strip. You know what I like about that dish? The different textures and tastes that you got. Here we have your bohu, which means that you just put the shrimp in like a boiling oil and then you fry it. Best part is when you suck the head. See that little orangey kind of roll right here in the head? Mm. That's the good stuff. What is the problem? Because I'm bust, but no, that's the deal. Really? Yeah. But you spit it out though. No. I know eating the shell, a lot of people are not used to it, I get it. But you just chew it a little bit more, it adds like a little okay, extra crispiness. I'm not, I'm not down. You're not, you're not doing. <laughs> I'm, I feel like I'm gonna be choking on this shell. All right, we got the next round coming up. And in this round, Jimmy, we have your arch nemesis oh, of Shanghai no. dishes. It's smoked fish yeah. and it's cold. And there's bones in it, dude. It looks like a piece of fish jerky. <laughs> Zahe Xing. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> I think I might like it because this is like a cold dish, so it comes to four. All of your warm food is here. Hey, everybody hates this. <laughs> <laughs> this one is butter, and I think that one's suji. Suji. Right? This is 
marinated in wine. But my beef lays in that this is using American chicken. You see how yellow the skin is? This is good small chicken. This is steroided up KFC chicken. Look at how pale this is. Nobody wants to eat this. Yo, Jimmy, have you even gone in on a heckler this bad? I feel like you're feeling <laughs> that chicken right now. Like, first, let's go with the wine more. Okay, let's sure. do wine. Oh, that's really good. Man, that wine chicken is so good. That's so dang good. Very juicy, very juicy, salty, plump. It's wine. It probably actually gets you drunk if you eat too much of it. I'm not even gonna try. I, I refuse. <laughs> <laughs> I'm boycotting. Okay. It's, it's better, that skin color ain't right, man. I, I feel you. I feel you. But, but, but I don't want to judge a chicken by the color of its skin. I want to <laughs> judge it by the content of the taste. Eat it and weep. It's not bad, man. No, it's not it's bad. It's not bad. This yeah, because the sauce is, is good. The chicken is just bland, and the soy sauce doing all the heavy lifting. This soy sauce is like LeBron James, and that's like the Cle Cleveland Cavs. It's <laughs> carrying the, the whole team. Here. So this is like a rice cake with the cabbage. The Shanghai Tony Shanghai Tony Gong. That's really good. Yeah. The cabbage is yeah. a great taste when you cook it that way. Cabbage, I feel like it's actually the MVP of that mm -hmm. dish. This cabbage, also I gotta point out, it's different. There's uh, Chinese cabbage. It's longer, mm -hmm. there's more flavor, and it soaks up flavor better. So this one's very juicy, so when paired with the rice cakes, it doesn't really like make your throat close. Mm -hmm. So this is chebe, it's a salty pork that's been preserved, and it just gives good flavor. And you can just smell the aroma, and if it's cooked right, it's kind of like Persian rice, like the tariq on the bottom. This is not fried, it's just steamed in the pot. Are you okay. saying this is not fried rice? This is not fried. Are you sure? This is not fried. Fried rice is always something that has like an egg. Okay. Just... This is not a fried rice, it's a mixed rice. This dish is to have some really good salted pork, and this one has, has a very strong flavor. Very good. So that brings out the entirety. All um, the flavor comes from the salted yeah, pork. Yeah, and it also comes from the leaves, because for the vegetables, they kind of marinate it in salt before they cook it so it soaks out all the water and that's why it's not very gooey and mm. Sanghe liang mi wang. Liang mi wang means that both sides are yellow. Mm -hmm. That means they pan fr they fried this. So these are thicker noodles. They deep fry it and then they pour the sauce and gravy over it. Why you, give me the, why you give me the burn piece, dog? <laughs> What's up with that, man? That's the more authentic piece. That's yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, I'll tell you, these noodles are really toasty, man. It tastes like, uh, it's like bread. That's good. Chicago mm. deep dish. When I travel around Shanghai, I always speak Shanghainese. <laughs> <laughs> no, also, I feel like people always like treat you better if you yes. speak it. But it's a, it's a secret language that yeah. gets you to open yeah. doors, right? Yeah. It's like going to New York speaking with that New York accent. Now we have a little segment we call the identity portion. The Shanghainese identity, also starring Matt Damon. How do you guys feel about the Shanghainese identity? potentially disappearing in the future. I think the pride will keep us alive for a while. The language might slowly disappear, but for me, I want my kids to be Shanghainese also. Pride is very big, and I think Shanghainese people are recognizing that Shanghainese is disappearing. So they're doing everything that they can to incorporate the language into their kids. What is one essential Shanghainese phrase? Oh, it's a, oh. It means like little sh like it means that they they love you and that you're their kid, but you're also it's like some tough love. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Simple version is like tana. It's just like mm -hmm. ah. It's like. Shanghainese men are good at business, but they're soft and weak on their women. The stereotype is Shanghainese women are very strong and right. tough. Yeah. It's a more matriarchal in the relationship, like the yeah. woman is dominant. Yes. Like um, the guy makes the money and they, they hand it to their wives and the wife keeps it. Holy. Whoa. Oh what? Hold <laughs> on. What did we, we order this? <laughs> we did, we did. It took him a while to cook it. This is the Yo, this is, this is justice. This is like all the Shanghainese restaurants China. around here serve this. This is like, if this is the special occasion. Special occasion. You see how soft and tender it is? It just pulls apart. That's why it took them like an hour to make this. Yo, it just comes apart. Oh, pull the bone out. It's like pulled pork. Oh, oh my oh, goodness. Yeah, that's oh. tough. That's oh so my nice. lord. Yeah. Uh -huh. oh, it's like a Shanghai slow pulled mm. pork. Oh. They don't see wow. it. They don't over season it. So you just eat in the porky pig flavor. What is it about Shanghai these men that are really good at business, so they're good at making money, but they don't mind being bossed around by the woman? And just Shanghainese women are known to be like one of the most beautiful women in China. So we just kind of put up with it. And that they're also known to be like fierce and like strong, which is good. I like that. Shanghainese people are very wily and good at business and like sort of like cunning yeah. people. It's like Cantonese people, it's like Hong Kong people. We're like such the economic hub and heart of China mm -hmm. because all the commerce passes through uh, Shanghai because it's by the um, uh, 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 river. Right. They're fast talking, they, they're good. At very uh, Wolf of Wall Street. Very, that, that's more yeah, like it. Why don't you say pitch some of the things you're open to endorsing in China? No. Man, I'll endorse anything if they pay me, man. Even the smoked fish? They pay me enough, I'll eat some smoked fish. And love it. It's smoked fish yeah. and it's very, very good. Brought to you by... 
like a true Shanghainese movie. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> was it weird going up Shanghainese in, Hong, in Cantonese dominated in Hong Kong? Oh, absolutely, because Hong Kong people are very elitist also. They look down at the mainland mm -hmm. people. So they call my dad like Sung Hoi Lo, that means like the, the Shanghainese dude or something. Mm -hmm. and, and, and they kind of made fun of him. And I didn't have an accent when I spoke Cantonese, but my dad had a Shanghainese accent right, when right. he spoke Cantonese. Like, so, they hope. Yeah, so, so they're like making fun of him. Like oh, no, civil beef, a lot of civil beef within China. There's a stereotype that, that because of their early exposure to Western civilization earlier than other parts of China, that they're more Western and more better. But what does better mean, right? They might be more Westernized, which, which means in a way they're more globalized because they're a Westernized city within the East. Right. So, so that makes anywhere. them more worldly. But yeah, that in a way makes them better, maybe. Well, they have French parts of town that are completely westernized. I think it, it comes into play when um, you look at the language. So when Shanghainese people talk about anyone else who's Chinese and not from Shanghai, they just say Xiaoni. Which, Xiaoni. which means you're from the countryside. But you know, you may be from somewhere that's not the countryside, Beijing but they just or something. call you Xiaoni because it's like I'm from the city, the perfect city, and everyone else is just below me. So it's if like you're a New Yorker, if, you're, if yeah. you're not from Shanghai, you're from the country. Yeah, the it's like New, New York. We're the big city, everybody else is a peasant. Shanghainese people are not good fighters. Oh, that's completely true. But I would like to think we're just more refined and we use our mouth and our words and not our fists. <laughs> Man, I'll fight you guys, though. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> hold on. We gotta go outside. Uh, oh, there is a saying in northern China. Oh. Ah, interesting. Yeah. But we can buy all of them. Oh. oh. I think that Shanghai is like a really unique city compared to the rest of China, and you can see things that you wouldn't be able to see anywhere else. And I think that everyone should definitely visit Shanghai, and it's like a very unique culture. And honestly, Shanghainese people aren't that elitist. It's just, it's more of a serious. It just, we're <laughs> actually better. <laughs> that too. See, that that was my elitist <laughs> joke. All right, between, all right, all right, Jimmy, 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 comment no, section. Jimmy, between Hong Kong and Shanghai, you gotta be one of the cockiest businessmen out there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but the sad part is, in America, I'm still just a random Asian dude. The last time we did an yeah. interview, it was before CRA. Yeah. CRA didn't come out yet. I mean, it's gotta be pretty crazy since it's the last been, three, four months. It's been great, and the best part about it, it just serves as opening the door for more Asian and authentic, diverse projects, right? Like, my agent jokingly was saying, literally the next day that CRA had a big weekend, that Monday, three Asian pilots got greenlit that day. So it's a very reactionary town, which serves is, is a good time for us now. So go make it, go. This is your chance, there's no more excuses. Like people want to hear your voice and, and hear your creation. Mm -hmm. So whatever you have in your mind, you want to share your experience, your family, whatever, go do it. I saw it on opening weekend. I thought it was it was groundbreaking for me, obviously, and and it was amazing to see all of these faces that I've seen just growing up, like all together in one movie. And it reaches not only the Asian community but everybody beyond, and it sparks conversation, which is what makes it super yeah. important. Yeah, we gotta make yeah, it. Yeah, so now. now it's solidified. And okay. one of the things I know last time I was promoting my book here, so the book is. And on its way of uh, turning it into a TV show. So I'm writing okay. a pilot well, for you, that. This is the first we got a deal. <laughs> announcement. You guys will probably see it in the news Congrats. soon or something like that. So I, I'm super excited about that. Like, you know what I mean? I, I thought it was crazy to see Aquafina host SNL. Oh, Dude, huge. that's like unbelievable. Huge. huge. Yeah, I'm just your average Asian trumpet player turned rapper turned actress. Very, stereoty <laughs> very stereotypical. I hope now Asian people and Asian families can see this as a real career, not just a, a luck of the draw. CRA kind of set a standard for good Asian roles. Absolutely, it will be under more scrutiny and, and people will be a little more picky. Actors and uh, screenwriters and producers, right? Mm -hmm. They're like, no, CRA was able to make money and it was good. Right. So there was it, wasn't, no it wasn't disrespectful. Yeah, so there's no excuse to water anything down anymore. With CRA, literally, I'm having dinner at, in Arcadia. Old Asian ladies and their whole family want to come up to me, barely speaking English, speaking Mandarin to me, asking for a picture, and that felt so good to finally do something that my own people is watching. What's the movie you'd like to see? I'm really into thrillers. I think. Oh, I'm doing yeah. one. I'm you doing want to a... be the Asian Liam Neeson. Yes! <laughs> I'm, I'm doing uh, the Fantasy Island reboot that's shooting in January. Yes. Maybe it'll be cool to see an Asian superhero that doesn't necessarily just do Kung Fu. All, all superheroes know martial arts. So it's like, why is this Chinese guy, he only knows martial arts? Give him some like x-ray vision too. Thank you so much. That was by far the most Shanghainese video we've ever made. So thank you so much. You guys did an amazing what, job. What is something we could say to the audience to take us out in Shanghainese? Jiwei!
You're gonna teach us a Shanghainese tongue twister. Okay. What, what are you saying? So what's, what's the tongue twister? What are... There's a cat in the temple. There's a cat outside of the temple. The cat inside the temple bit the cat outside of the temple. Mio li mo mo la mio ngam. Mo li mo mo ngam. Wow!